Welcome back guys. Today I'm going to show you how to make one of these dish towel ladders or if you're from Canada, a tea towel ladder. These towels are perfect for any countertop, either your kitchen or your bathroom. You can switch out the towel depending on the season or the holiday, whichever you feel like. They're simple to make. You can make one for less than five dollars. So uh, let's get started. Okay, go to Home Depot, get yourself a piece of this one by two by eight. It should be about $4.25. Your first cut's gonna be the leg. It's gonna be at a 15 degree angle. So that way you can sit on the counter and lean back. <laughs> Starting at your longest end, you're gonna measure back 16 inches. 16. So now you're gonna measure and cut your three rungs at eight and a half inches. Eight and a half. <laughs> okay, now that you got your three rungs and your two legs cut, time to sand them down. Look at that beautiful wood grain. Don't forget to walk your dog. Okay, now that you got your pieces all sanded, it is time to glue them up. You're gonna wanna cut four blocks at four and a half inches and two blocks at two and a quarter inches out of whatever scrap you had left over. Now you wanna get something you can use as a square. I'm, at, I'm using an actual framing square. If you wanna put it in with your ladder front is going to be the longest point. You want that to be facing down. So the front of your ladder when it's complete is going to be facing the table. So now here's your spacers. Take your first two small spacers, stick them in like so, drop in your first rung. Take your second spacers, drop them in like so, and square it all up. Okay, let's start gluing. I'm using Tight Bond 3. Get your glue on. All right, guys, the glue's dried. I took it out of the clamps and it's ready for stain. I'm using a bare wood stain. Its color is espresso. We're staining with the espresso stain today. You know everything's gonna be okay. All right, time to do the clear coat. I'm using a bare matte finish clear coat that I picked up from Home Depot. Check out that beautiful grain. I can't afford music here, so I'm going to hum for you. Can you guess what song that is? That's it. Now I'm going to let this dry. Come back in an hour, sand it all down, do another coat. Okay, so after the ladder's been clear coated, sanded, and then re-clear coated, I put these rubber bumpers on the feet that I get from Amazon, but you can get them from Home Depot. You can get them from Walmart, and this keeps them from sliding on the counter. Skirt, skirt. And that's it. Finished product. For a more detailed video and tips and tricks, please check out my YouTube channel at Jasco Goods. Thanks for watching. Bye, everybody.